Hi everybody! Um, it is finally Friday. I am so excited that it's Friday, but I, I, I need like some kids to remind me. How do we say Friday in room 18? Fry, yay! So I am super excited that it's Friday. Thank you for reminding me how we say it. It's been so long since we've been at school, so I just kind of forgot I had a brain fart. But you guys reminded me. I decided to make my video um, outside in the sun. That way it wasn't so cold. But now it's like just super bright. So if I'm squinting, I'm sorry. It's really bright out here, but I was cold underneath the patio. So I am wearing red for caring today. I hope you guys are all wearing red. I show people that I care by helping them, giving them hugs, listening to them when something's wrong, just being there for people and being patient and just trying to be as helpful as I can to them. So I want to see your pictures of you guys wearing red to show caring. Um, and then I want to know how you show people that you care. So I told you guys how I show people that I care. I want to know how you guys show people that you care. So today is red again for caring. Send me your pictures. I have some really, really good news. We have 10 people who took AR test yesterday. That is awesome. That is almost half of our class that took AR test yesterday. So great job to Jeremy, Gio, Jace, Leeton, Adrian, um, Gracie, Damian, Logan, Johnny, Zoe. You guys all took tests yesterday. So great job. I am super proud of you guys. Keep up the good work. Um, another really exciting thing is that we have five friends that have or that are half more than halfway to reaching their AR goal. So these friends are Jace, Leeton, Anthony, Gracie, and Johnny. You guys are more than halfway to your goal. So you guys are almost there. Keep up the good work. And then we have an exciting announcement. Jeremy, great job, Jeremy. He met his goal. Um, so awesome job. I'm so proud of you guys for all of your AR testing. Um, we just need to keep it up. Once you've met your AR goal, your next goal is the trimester goal, which is 15 points. So keep going. But I am so proud of you guys for um, being halfway to your goal. Congratulations, Jeremy, for reaching your goal. These are all so exciting things. I am so proud of you guys. Um, another thing I need to remind you before I forget. Where did I go? Okay, here it is. On Monday, so today is Friday, so then we have Saturday and Sunday. On Monday, when we come back, we are going to be wearing green for responsibility. So don't forget to wear green on Monday when we come back. That's three sleeps. So we have Friday night sleep, Saturday night sleep, Sunday night sleep, and then Monday, I want to see your green. Okay, so keep up the good work. I've gotten lots of pictures of people wearing red already, so send me those pictures. I want to see... And then keep AR testing. You guys have been doing awesome. I'm so proud of you guys. I am thinking maybe about doing a Zoom meeting with everybody. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys... Oh my gosh, there's a bee. <laughs> okay. I want to know what you guys think about possibly doing a Zoom meeting, which is on our computer, but everyone can see everyone and we can all talk to each other. So... I want to know, would that be cool to see and talk to me? Would it be cool to see and talk to your friends? I want to know if you guys would be interested. Let me know if, you, if this is something that you guys would do if we could. Um, I'm working on it. I think it would be a really good idea. I want to see you guys and talk to you guys. And I know you guys want to see and talk to your friends. So let me know. Okay. Today's story is a letter to Amy by Ezra Keats. This is what it looks like. A letter to Amy. AR level 2.4. The quiz number is 27506. 27506. Again, it is a letter to Amy. Oh, man, let me see. It is so bright out here. It's hurting my eyes. I should have put sunglasses on or something. It's a pretty day, though. So get out and ride your bike if you have a bike because it's a perfect day to be outside. Ooh, this is kind of hard for you guys to see, huh? This one. I'm writing a letter to Amy. I'm inviting her to my party, Peter announced. Why don't you just ask her? You don't write to anyone else, said his mother. 
Peter stared at the sheet of paper for a while and said, Well, this way it's sort of special. He folded the letter quite a few times, put it in the envelope, and sealed it. Now I'll mail it, he said. What did you write? His mother asked. <clears throat> Will you please come to my birthday party? Peter. You should tell her when to come. So he wrote on the back of the envelope. It is this Saturday at 2. Now I'll mail it. Put on a stamp. He did and started to leave. Wear your raincoat. It looks like rain. That bee is coming back again. I don't like bees. They scare me. Wear your raincoat. Raincoat. It looks like rain. He put it on and said, It looks like rain. Sarcastically. You'd better stay in, Willie. And ran out to mail his letter. So he was being sarcastic. He didn't care what his mom said. He didn't care if it was raining. No matter what, he was going to go mail that letter. Walking to the mailbox, Peter looked at the sky. Dark clouds raced across it like wild horses. He glanced up at Amy's window. She wasn't there. There's Amy's window. Only Pepe, her parrot, sat peering down. Willie, didn't I tell you to stay home? So that's the parrot talking. Peter thought, what will the boys say when they see a girl at my party? Suddenly, there was a flash of lightning and a roar of thunder. A strong wind blew the letter out of his hand. Here's the lightning and the letter flying away. Peter chased the letter. He tried to stop it with his foot, but it blew away. Then it flew up high into the air. And landed, skipping across a hopscotch game. The letter blew this way and that. Peter chased it this way and that. He couldn't catch it. My computer screen locked. Sorry, guys. Okay. Big drops of rain began to fall. Just then, someone turned the corner. It was Amy. She waved to him. The letter flew right towards her. She mustn't see it or the surprise will be spoiled. They both ran for the letter. In his great hurry, Peter bumped into Amy. He caught the letter before she could see it. It was before she could see it was for her. He bumped her down. Quickly, he stuffed the letter into the mailbox. He looked for Amy, but she had run off crying. So I think he hurt her. Now she'll never come to my party, thought Peter. He saw his reflection in the street. It looked all mixed up. Here's his reflection. Reflection. When Peter got back to his house, his mother asked, Did you mail your letter? Yes, he said sadly. Saturday came at last. Everybody arrived but Amy. Shall I bring the cake out now? His mother asked Peter. Let's wait a little, said Peter. Now, bring it out now, chanted the boys. All right, said Peter slowly. Bring it out now. But he's sad because he was waiting for Amy to show up. He didn't want to do the cake without Amy. Just then, the door opened. In walked Amy with her parrot. A girl, ugh, 
said Eddie. Happy birthday, Peter, said Amy. Happy birthday, Peter, repeated the parrot. Peter's mother bought, brought in the cake she had baked and lit the candles. Everyone sang. Make a wish, cried Amy. Wish for a truck full of ice cream, shouted Eddie. A store full of candy and no stomach ache. But Peter made his own wish and blew out all the candles at once. I wonder what he wished for. The end. So I want you to make a prediction and think, what do you think Peter made his wish to be? I think my prediction would be that it had something to do with Amy and maybe not making her cry or saying sorry for bumping into her. Um, I think it would have to do with him showing, learning how to show that he cared about Amy more. Maybe he doesn't really know how to show caring. I think his wish would have been about maybe not making her cry or saying sorry for making her cry because it wasn't on purpose. But So I want you guys to make a prediction. What do you think his wish was? Um, take an AR test on this if you guys are in AR. Did we like this book? I want to know. Okay. Happy Friday. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I am showing Sporting Red today to show that I know how to show caring. I want to see you guys... Um, sporting red and then remember when we come back on monday we are wearing green okay bye everyone i hope you guys have a great weekend